Hello, everyone. I am Simone, and I'm a junior at Queen's University studying multimedia storytelling. And today I'll be interviewing Emily Thomas. Emily is an associate fire protection engineer and a member of SFPE. SFPE stands for Society of Fire Protection Engineers. Hello, Emily. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. My first question for you, Emily, is what initially drew you to fire protection engineer as a career path? So when I first went to college, I was an undecided engineering major, and I actually looked into all the different types of engineering. So mechanical, bio, electrical, and fire protection. And I thought about and considered all the different types of engineering, um, but I just felt the fire protection gave me the best opportunity to directly impact people's lives in a positive way. And so that's what led me to fire protection. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so were there any high school courses or college courses that you found to be the most applicable slash important for your occupation? So in high school, um, as you would expect, I think math and science as um, any engineering, that would be the base. But specifically for our kind of engineering, I would also say surprisingly English, because you actually have to read a lot and be able to comprehend what you're reading and then write about what you read. Wow, that's an important, um, important skill to have. So how did you engage with SFPE as a student and slash or new professional? So as a student, there's um, student chapters that you can join at the different universities that offer fire protection engineering. And so I was a student member um, of a chapter and I attended events and um, did things like that. And then as a professional, what I've done is I've actually joined a committee for emerging professionals in the industry, and I'm the chair of that committee. So I run the meetings and help think of new initiatives for SFPE. Wow, that's amazing. Um, and Emily, I have a question. What would you say to those who are interested in getting into your career field, but are necessarily not as good as math, therefore they don't even, even think about um, your occupation, what would you tell those, those viewers who are uh, watching? I would say that math was not my strong suit either. Um, after I graduated, my parents finally told me that they're actually very surprised that I chose engineering because math and science were not my strong suits. Um, but I think it's more important to be interested in learning than be good at it from the get-go. So as long as you're interested in learning, um, you'll, you'll be fine. Wow, thank you. All right, so now we're gonna talk about your workday. Can you describe what a typical workday entails? So I would say there's two different types of typical work days. Um, the first work day would be if I'm in the office. And so um, in the office, I would be um, attending meetings, designing different types of systems on the computer um, in AutoCAD. So that means I'm physically like drawing the systems on a computer aided design. Um, and then I would also be doing code research, um, which means opening the code books, reading through what the requirements are, and then typing them up and explaining them to clients. Um, the other type of typical day would be if I'm on site. And so we actually have to go on site quite a bit as fire protection engineers. And there we would be in different buildings, looking at the different types of fire protection systems there and um, writing down our findings. Wow. So no day is boring and everything's interesting. I love it. That's, that's awesome. Um, what is one aspect of this career that people would not expect? I would say that um, even though it's a small industry in terms of the number of people, it's actually very broad in the sense of what you can do with it. And so I'm involved in the building side of things. So that would be new construction, existing buildings, um, maintaining systems that are already there. But there's also, um, you know, different products that need fire protection considerations. For example, lithium ion batteries. A lot of people are studying those right now because of the fire issues they're having. Um, you could do stuff in wildfires, you could do stuff in researching um, new products. So there's just such a vast majority of things you can do. Okay, that's awesome. So how has your participation in SFPE impacted your career success? I would say that um, being part of SFPE has given me the ability to network with people outside of my company. And so our committee that I'm on actually has people from not only all around the country, but all around the world. We have a member who's in New Zealand. So that was very interesting to be able to talk to him about um, what he does in fire protection in New Zealand versus here. 
Um, and then the other way I would say is giving me a chance to practice my leadership abilities, being the chair of a committee, which is something that you can um, go for uh, at any age or any time. And so that's giving me the ability to practice, you know, leading meetings and um, preparing for meetings and things like that. Oh, that's awesome. And then my last question for you today is, what words of wisdom do you have for someone who is considering your occupation? I know we kind of talked about it before um, with people who are hesitant to entering your field because they are not necessarily good at STEM, but what's another piece of advice that you might give viewers who are interested in this career path? I would say for fire protection specifically, don't let the fact that it's a smaller industry in terms of number of people in it um, impact your decision because it's growing and evolving and it's getting bigger and it is so um, expansive in what you can do. Okay. Well, there you go, everyone. Um, thank you so much, Emily, for just taking the time out of your day to interview with me today. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. And thank you all for joining us. I hope you learned more about SFPE. For more information, please visit the SFPE Q career page and find out how SFPE can help you with your career development. Until next time, have a great day.